Palm Sunday. Into the city he rides, but not as conquering hero. He rides not in majesty, but in soul-felt lowly sorrow. He rides on a donkey's foal, caught up in the flow of acclaim, of shallow celebrity and mirth. His passion's start will show this fame's full worth. The eve of his last puff, dark Passover draws nigh, and his sweet soul does languish with a sigh. He knows full well the fate of those who enter by this gate. The prophets stoned or cast down wells to drown in irksome mud. He knows full well his fate that's set by entering this gate his body scourged and strung on high to drain its precious blood. He knows full well the fate of sinners held behind the gate of Hades, bound a while, awaiting him to claim their hapless good. We welcome him with cheers and hollow hoots. We greet our own expectations and shallow hopes. Hosanna to the son of David! Hosanna, liberating prince. Hosanna, provider of our need. Hosanna, social reformer. Hosanna to God's prophet dear. Hosanna, kind and good teacher. Hosanna, wonder-working seer. We cast our rags before his feet, hoping that he'll stoop and put them on. And what we most desire he'll then become be remade in our image, accept the gown of our threadbare renown, and justify our empty fabrication. He passes by, ignoring our desires. His eyes are fixed on a far greater prize, his countenance incipient with glory, the kind that's only won through travail, pain, passion, death, and betrayal. He is the spotless host, the Lamb of God. He alone may pass the veil. He willingly enters the temple. Showing himself to the priest, he bows his head and accepts the garland wreath of our disaffected thorny wrath. The sacrifice is now chosen the oblation sanctified, the offertory complete and done.